Hello, my name is David Tuminski and the videos that you are about to watch were taken from my full course on most wanted flat design techniques. Uh, they will give you like a quick look at uh, what you will find inside. And inside uh, the full course you will find uh, three projects, uh, the flat design desert island project, a hipster businessman project and the office uh, space project. It's uh, more than 30 many projects in total and they are all packed with some fantastic, powerful, but uh, really easy to follow uh, illustrator techniques. And you will find uh, the link to that course in the description below. But let me just stop talking and let's actually start designing. In this video we are going to create the hair for our, for our hipster kind of guy. And we are not going to use the pen tool, as I mentioned before, we are going to use the pencil tool. And the pencil tool sits right under our main shape creation tools. And it's, uh, it's this guy right here. It has a default shortcut of, uh, of, uh, of the N letter, actually. So if I simply make it active, I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to make sure that, uh, that my stroke is active, not the fill. And I am simply going to start drawing to somewhere, somewhere here. So I'm simply going to click and drag and start drawing his hair until it looks something like this. I'm really going slow with it. Uh, maybe to somewhere here. And then I'm going to go down here to something like that. Now you can see that uh, it actually looks kind of horrible. I mean, um, I think we could actually do a bit better job with the pen tool if we wanted to, to leave it like that. And if I just simply exchange the stroke with the fill, nah, it's maybe not that bad, but um, I don't think it looks, uh, looks um, as nice as it can look. So let me just zoom back out and let me just undo all these changes. Well, if you see your, um, your, well, the result of your pencil tool creation, uh, just as we, uh, as we did be, uh, ju just a second ago, well, that's most probably because you have like the, um, uh, well, maybe not the, in, not, not the incorrect settings, but uh, not the settings that we are looking uh, for in this case uh, set. So I'm simply going to double click on this pencil tool to get these pencil tool options. And really the setting that we want to play around with is the smoothness setting right here. So if I simply just crank it up to around 50% and then I hit OK, and then I move on to, 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 my, to, to creating the hair. So I'm simply going to click and drag and I'm gonna start creating this hair set till it looks um, something like that. So I'm going to move up right now and now create this curl just like that. And then I'm gonna go to the left and then I'm gonna create something like so. Of course, with these freehand shapes, there is actually no right or wrong. Now you can see that uh, the, the pencil tool is actually making it look uh, way better. It's actually making it uh, a bit smoother and, and the curves are, are, are way nicer. So let me just revert back to the, to the original to see what it actually has to look like. Okay, so I'm gonna just delete it and just as a repetition, let's create it one more time. Of course, as I said, there is no right or wrong with this kind of with this kind of uh, shapes. You can have really fun with it. You can you can create it um, the way you want actually, because um, well it's it's the hair right. It's not really that regular usually. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it like that. So as you can see, we uh, with the with the pen tool, you'd have to click like I don't know 20 times to get all the curves right. We would actually. Uh, spent a lot of time trying to, to make this kind of a shape look uh, the way it looks right now. So remember, all you really need to do, if, if you want to go with the pencil, and I highly advise you do, uh, simply double click on the pencil tool and check if, if the smoothness value is actually set to around 50%. If it, if it was um, cranked up a, a bit higher, you'd get different results. But um, from my experience, usually, usually the 50% 50, uh, 50 value gives you a, a good balance between uh, like um, uh, this uh, freehand, uh, free Hand, um, or optional freehand feeling to your design and a nice aesthetic look. Okay, so I'm gonna just press OK and now if I simply exchange the fill and stroke you can see that actually this this hairdo looks looks kind of nice. But of course we still need to we still need to like the other part of this guy's hair and it would be good if uh, if this uh, this part the sideburn actually looked uh, 
pretty symmetrical because <laughs> we don't want this guy to look that hipster to have that asymmetrical uh, asymmetrical hairdo but i think that this is something that we can do uh, that we can do in the next video because um, i really want you to just grasp what this uh, pencil tool uh, is really about how you can simply create some pieces like well in this case like some pieces of hair and actually you can see that you can really well it uh, this tool is, is quite forgiving. You can you can really create this uh, weird looking shapes and Illustrator will do all the he heavy lifting for you and uh, and make them look um, look uh, look well nicer. Okay, so in the next video we are going to continue creating uh, the hairdo of our hipster guys, so stay tuned.